One of the most important things in working on an SM916 is uh, understanding the console and the console codes to access it. I brought a piece of, uh, I brought a sheet here to show you uh, the console codes uh, and how to access all of our cardio product lines. And I'm going to cover that now with you. Uh, all of our consoles uh, will work on any of our product when it comes to the, the step mill, stepper, uh, the uh, R and U series bikes, and also our ellipticals. Uh, all the codes will uh, work the same on those consoles. One of the first console codes I'm going to cover with you is how to enter into the console. You always want to go into uh, increase speed. Uh, the digit that you want to go into, which is three, which is your customized screen, and enter. Uh, customized screen, uh, as you can see here, will be your uh, auto repeat key, uh, minimum maximum steps, uh, your contrast for your upper and lower screens, uh, your language, uh, the stats. Uh, one of the important things is your heart rate inputs, which uh, will cover telemetry, uh, things of that nature and also change units and cool down. Uh, once you uh, are in that screen, you want to get out, you always hit clear once. We'll take you out to customize. One more time, we'll bring you all the way out to the beginning again. Uh, one of the other important things in uh, accessing our consoles uh, is your machine status. You want to do speed up, increase up, four, enter. Uh, as you can see, is your machine status. Uh, that, that'll show you uh, as you in, uh, put the increase up or increase down, you get your maintenance hours, which shows the last time the machine was worked on. Uh, shows that this was configured for a step mill, which I will cover that uh, later on on uh, the different products that this console will work on. Uh, your software revision, which the most important one on this one is the last two digits, which is version 18. Uh, how many floors you have on this machine, how many workouts. And one of the other things is run hours, how many hours this machine has from the beginning. Uh, if you want to clear out of that and go into another console, you always remember to hit clear twice. It brings you back out. Uh, the next code is speed up six enter, which is your diagnostic screen. Uh, that, when you go into that thing, that goes into your TAC test, your alternator test, your I.O. test, uh, A sensor, B sensor, your serial ports, and your, one of the most important things on here in this section is the key test and also display test. Um, once you go through that, if you want to get out of there, like I said, you always hit to clear. brings you back out to the beginning. Uh, the next code you want to cover is speed up 7, enter, is your maintenance logs. Um, this shows you uh, maintenance hours, uh, air log. This is important. Once you go to the air log, Anytime you're working on any of our cardio products, you always want to go in there and, and understand what kind of errors that this machine has had if someone is uh, calling in for a service request. This right here will tell you uh, if there's any, any kind of electronical errors, it'll pop up and give you a, a number and tell you what that, that problem is. To get back out into the maintenance logs, go back into error log, maintenance hours, and you can scroll around again. Uh, once you're done with that section, you hit clear, brings you back out to maintenance logs one more time to the Nautilus cardio section. And uh, now you can check in, uh, speed up, eight, enter, which is your configuration. Very important. Uh, like I was explaining earlier on the uh, cardio line of our products, our consoles, when you're having a C52, will work on any of our products. Like I said, on the step mill, the stepper, uh, our new series bikes, and our ellipticals. Um, if you get a console in, you can use that on any of our products. And the important thing about that is, is when you go into configure, hit enter, uh, change machine. Enter, you got step mill. If you uh, need to use this on some other of our cardio products, you can hit uh, increase up or increase down. It takes you to the stair climber, which is our stepper. Um, that'll, that tells you whenever the configuration is required because it doesn't work on that product. You have your elliptical, the bike revision A, revision B, and back to the step mill. Once you find a product that you need to uh, put this uh, console on, you hit enter to accept it. It'll flash. Brings you back in, shows step mail, goes back to the beginning of the screen, and um, you're set to go.